Hello everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's second video. Going to have a look at the ECM WF42 day model for today's second video. This is your for today's slash six weeks looking out for the UK and for Ireland. And I should get time for that for you in a moment, just to say that first. The video only sales are six, 10 UK weather forecast, got weekend forecast and a 10 to 14 day on the way later on today. So please like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And uh, thank you so much everybody for doing that. But down to weather vids. Thank you so much everyone. And uh, thank you so much to ECMWF.int for supplying the charts and the data as well, by the way. Thank you so much, EC. Right, we're going to start off with week one mean sea level pressure anomaly taking us through the uh, week map. So we're going to be starting next week. It's the 12th to the 19th of August. Uh, by the way, we did wider European outlook with this one on a Tuesday. If anybody's wondering about that. So this is like a UK and Ireland focus video. But we released on a, a Saturday morning or a Friday evening. Um, and then the wider European extended outlook is always on a Tuesday. So we didn't do it this last Tuesday because I was a bit poorly. But we'll be back uh, next Tuesday. Right, so that's explained that. Okay, so week one means sea pressure anomaly. Plenty of low pressure in the North Atlantic and a uh, westerly flow coming across the Atlantic into West Europe as well next week. Looks unsettled that, doesn't it? 500 millibar height anomaly also looks unsettled with below average heights in the Atlantic into Northern and Western parts of Europe. Higher pressure down towards Spain and Portugal and quite a strong westerly flow coming across the Atlantic into Europe as well. Right, so the temperature anomaly uh, next week is looking like this. A little bit above average across East Anglia, South Eastern England, but at most places coming out average to slightly below average with the temperatures next week, particularly in Central Northern and Western regions. Quite a cool week to come there for. And also unsettled with above average rainfall. So, uh, yes, there we see it, um, particularly, again, for more northern and western regions, but all areas looking rather on the unsettled side next week. Week 2 takes us from the 19th to 22nd of August, and, again, looking pretty unsettled, low pressure across the uh, north and the west of Europe, the wind coming in from the Atlantic like that, along with the jet stream. 500 millibar height anomalies for week two, also looking unsettled with below average heights from the Atlantic into northern and west Europe, along with quite a strong uh, westy flow and jet stream as well. Temperature anomalies look rather cool and below average. Temperature has been predicted there. For uh, the 19th, 26th of August for the UK and for Ireland. Much of Northern and West Europe actually looking quite cool. And we are included in that. So uh, quite a quite a coolish week there. And uh, again, above average rainfall. Oh dear, not the best couple of weeks to come then. If the ECM is right with below average temperatures and above average precipitation are uh, to come. Week 3 will be the 26th of August, 2nd of September. Here we go. Uh, so this one also looks a little bit on the unsettled side with the mean seal pressure anomaly. Plenty of low pressure in the Atlantic and into uh, Western Europe there. 500 millibar heights also looking uh, mixed again with below average heights through the North Atlantic into Western portions of Europe. Temperature anomalies are above, uh, are below average I should say, <laughs> in western regions, slightly above just to our east. Again, nothing much to get excited about there from a temperature anomaly perspective. And uh, week three precipitation looking generally average to slightly above for rainfall. Again, it looks a pretty unsettled week to come there. Uh, I think across much of Northern West Europe, albeit it's a week in singles, it's three weeks out, but the, the signal is still there to be quite unsettled, I think. Week four would be the 2nd to the 9th of September. Um, weakening signals, but below average or low pressure, I should say, um, over to the east of the country. So it could still end up being a little bit mixed. 500 millibar heights on doesn't really show much of a signal. 
a bit of blocking up here and higher pressure down there. Otherwise, I'll put in a question mark, I think, through there. What about temperature anomaly, though, for week four? Here we go. Still looks a little bit on the cool side, especially so for more western and northern regions. Slightly above average to our south and east. Nothing much to get excited about. Expectation wise, again, average, maybe a little bit above for uh, rainfall for Ireland and for the UK. Now, week five would be the 9th to the 16th of September. Here we go. That one looks quite unsettled. Low pressure through the Atlantic into uh, West Europe. Could we be shaping up for an unsettled September here? 500 millibar high tom doesn't necessarily show that a great deal, though. Temperature anomalies continue to look rather on the coolest side, I have to say. A uh, very different September to last year. And uh, a bit above average rainfall. Again, it's five weeks out, so the expect to seems to be quite weak. Nevertheless, for a, like a week five rainfall anomaly, that's actually quite a strong signal to be um, pretty unsettled, I think, there. Different September here, if this is right. Well, week 6 is 16, 23rd of September. Let's have a look. Now, size a bit of a change this week. We've got some higher pressure appearing to our southwest. That's the Azores high. Could that be starting to move in? And bring something a little bit drier and warmer for the third week of September. Uh, 500 millibar height anomalies, again, with a high pressure uh, to our west and south. Um, probably low pressure though up here still, and generally westerly, northwest your alignment to the wind flow and the jet stream. Temperature anomalies look a little bit disappointing overall. No better than average, could be a bit on the cool side. Lastly, precipitation anomalies, it's so far out that the signal has weakened, so not much of use there, probably for week six. But it does look like we're coming for a rather cooler and more unsettled September than we've had for a few years there. Of course, September last year was extremely hot in the first uh, 10 days or so. We ended up with the hottest September in the entire CT index, back 1659. Just a few hints that this September could be something... Uh, rather different, you know, try something rather different, a little bit cooler, a little bit more unsettled. Obviously, it's early days, and uh, before that, anyway, we've got August to worry about rest of August looking quite cool and uh, wet, actually, <laughs> if, uh, if this update is right. Maybe just a snapshot, though, of uh, what the model is showing. Could look different when we look at this again on Tuesday for extended European Outlook, or indeed next Saturday for the UK and Island Focus video. We're going to be back a little bit later on with your weekend forecast and your tennis morning day. Come back for that later. For this week's ECM extended forecast UK and for Ireland. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.